So the process starts with one idea, one walk, one thought, one colour maybe, and then, then I'll, I'll, I'll develop from there. And it is about emotion, about your imagination, so I, I paint imagination more than anything else in, in the way that a colour or a shape goes together. Um, and then I experiment a lot with breaking the rules with compositions, breaking the rules with um, what colours should go where. I think about what I, what I paint probably consciously or subconsciously all the time. I'm John Tregembo. Um, I've been an artist, well, all my life, um, professionally for the last 15 plus years. Um, born and bred in Padstow, in North Cornwall. Um, my inspiration is the sea, which is quite understandable. I try to um, paint more of what's in my head. I don't paint places as such. I think the sea is a, a very powerful motive. So I try to get that across really the way I see it. I also am fascinated by cloudy skies. I don't, there's a little story which um, I'm sure a lot of people grew up with their parents in the car would, would say when you're bored they would say look can you see this dragon in this castle in, in the clouds and I um, I picked up on that really a lot. The North Atlantic Cornish coast is a fantastic place to grow up. You get the huge seas, you get the, you can actually feel the sea in the winter, you can feel the land moving, it's what we call ground sea. So that, that gets inside of you. I was born in Padstow, North Cornwall. I had a fantastic childhood. If you can imagine um, back then, it's a few years back now, um, we, we were free. We'd disappear on a weekend um, down the beach, a whole gang of us, and I don't know, we'd build, dig out some caves because we thought there might be pirate treasure in there, or um, we'd be out on the sandbar, which is between Padstone Rock. It's a very tidal estuary, very dangerous place to be, but we'd be out there, and the local fishermen say, Oh, you silly buggers get back over here you're gonna drown. Mother would say to one of the neighbours, do you see my boy and why oh, he's down so and so. Everybody in Padstow knew who you were and they all looked out for each other. Um, so it's a fantastic, fantastic place. I can't imagine anywhere better to grow up. I think probably a lot of what I do now comes from that childhood. Without you realising it, having all that sea weather, all those memories around you they come out subconsciously in, in, in my work. But Padstow is, is a quite unique place and that's my home. I'm a Padstonian deep down. I think my, my interest in painting has, has always been there. From a very early age I was probably for want of a better word, the nerdy boy, where all the other boys were playing football, I would be drawing and disabilities, the usual things that kids draw and um, trying to just get better at it. I've never been much of a drawer, but I've always wanted to capture things around me. All those life experiences make you what you are in everything you do. And I think those life experiences as an artist is what's made me what I do now. The, the sadness of losing your father at a young age, the, the childhood of growing up in, around that coast. All the different things we all deal with in life, I think they all, we all deal with them different ways and they all come out in different ways. I remembered the clouds and my father and mother trying to keep us interested in the car and what's in the clouds and then I looked at a lot of art and thought, there's a lot more in the sky than, than I see a lot more in the sky than perhaps other people have put across. I think you don't realise it's coming out until you start to paint and then these little 
lights come on in your head. The other thing is with painting the oceans is they're not little small places, they're very very big. Sounds a big surprise but they are so why try and paint this little bit, this one bit of it? So you and as you flit around you see other things so rather than say this is the subject matter of the picture it's all the subject matter which is completely wrong when you learn to become an artist perhaps but there's no wrong and right being creative because it comes from you that's what makes you an individual that's what makes you different if you're in a thunderstorm and you feel that that the heaviness in the air and the way um, it is you know what light is, you know what clouds are, you know what rain is, but how do you get across the idea of that without actually painting the obvious? But I always think I'm evolving, and, and as I go on now, I become, I'm becoming more and more abstracted. In the early days, I tended to be like a lot of people that you think, what's that supposed to be? Well, I don't think art needs to represent anything that's real. In the physical world, it can it can it can represent an idea, um, which is quite hard to get hold of because everybody's interpretation of ideas is different. I don't have the traditional, perhaps the traditional way of looking at creating a painting. I go straight in with paint. I find it much freer um, to throw, and the colours will not be the colours I'm going to finish with. I quite often have, I have a huge big glass table which is all mixed up with colours and I'll use what's ever on there just to build up some idea. Because I'm not painting a place or something that needs to be recognisable, I'm not too fussed. I just get everything down and then, then something will come out of the picture. But it always starts from one observation somewhere, whether it's the crest of a wave, some something on the beach, something that, that I'll have in my head. I take my phone everywhere and I'll snap obscure little things just to jog my memory and I'll flick through and then I'll think that's and then I'll start with that. Once I've got all this stuff, I'm more interested in, in, in the colours and ideas in my head. But they're not ideas as in, oh this is this. It's more well, what would happen if I put put that with that and if I overpaint this with that and if I experiment with that probably because I like the looseness of the way things are changing all the time so I'm more interested in what makes the sea the sea what makes the clouds the clouds I don't judge art and it is it's very subjective people would say to me what is that and I'd say well do you like it and I said, yeah, I do. I said, well, it doesn't matter what it is. I feel that most people should in life do what they want. And, of course, the pessimists would say, yeah, well, it's all very well, but you've got to earn a living. Of course you've got to earn a living. But you also should live a life that is what is, suits you, not a life that you feel you should live. I don't think you can measure success as an artist because if you learn a trade and you learn a way of doing something, you become better and better at that. But there is a process. If you're building a wall, there's a correct way and a wrong way to build a wall. And if you do it the correct way, you then become good at it. Um, in art, it, it is very difficult because there's not really a correct way and a wrong way. There's so many different things that go into it, but there's no right and wrong way. You're trying to get across an idea, so I think success is not something that I believe any artist can truly say, huh, I know this now, I'm successful. I think that's what makes every artist unique. Is you should be able to recognize a certain artist's work by the fact that it's unique, and it couldn't be anybody else's because nobody else can see things the way you see them, perhaps. When, when you manage to get across something, an idea, or, or you, you actually get something across, it can be very satisfying, and you can go, I, I'm, really, I'm really glad I did that, because that didn't exist before, and now it does exist. That's, that's quite satisfying.
people have said to me over the years, oh, you're finished, you, don't, you shouldn't do any more to that because it's finished. And I said, well, it's not finished in my mind because it's not quite what I want to say. And it takes a long time to get across. So success is not something I think I'll ever achieve personally, but I always strive towards it. One piece of art is, is a moment in time. It's not going to change, that, that's it. But I try to make it look as if maybe it could be always changing what makes things what they are, not because the sea is wet or it's stormy. How do you define the sea? Um, it's an emotional thing, a lot of it. When you look at things, we know what things look like, but we don't actually understand how we recognise those things. Uh, maybe that's the madness within, perhaps to a certain degree. I think all creatives are slightly mad. Even some are more mad than others. but. I think that's it really, a moment in time that's always changing, hmm, probably.